So hi folks, I want to show you how to use the candle pattern that I've got on this chart. This is the Euro US dollar day chart combined with the stochastic indicator and pattern breaks to give you an excellent trade entry. First thing I'm going to do is put on the stochastic. So I'm going to go to indicators. This is using trading view and choose the stochastic indicator, which is under S under stochastic and uh, there's a stochastic drawn in there. Um, automatically it puts the default settings in which I'm going to change and the default settings the inputs are 14 1 and 3 I'm going to change that to 14 7 and 3 and then I'm going to just change the style up a bit I don't need the uh, the middle band I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to change the lines to uh, to complete lines instead of dotted lines and I'm also going to just thicken up the indicator lines a wee bit so that they're more visible. I want to make that one red actually rather than orange. And there I've got the 1473 stochastic at the bottom. Now what we want to do is um, find out how to take this trade entry. We knew the euro was overbought because the stochastic was overbought but the stochastic was also forming a divergence and you can see um, all the way back to here actually as we were making higher highs on the euro price chart, we were making lower highs on the stochastic, and that's stochastic divergence. It's a pretty useful tool if you want to use an indicator. I don't normally use indicators. I can kind of see it on the chart without the indicator. But if you want to use one for your own confirmation, the 1473 stochastic is good to show you when it's overbought in this example, and also when you're getting divergence between the stochastic indicator and the price chart. So we can see the stochastic is making lower highs, particularly in this region here, where the price is making higher highs. So we know that we're overbought, we, we've got a divergence, and uh, we're at a key resistance level at the same time. And it's important to look at these in, in terms of the, the, the bigger overall picture. And um, you can see we reached a key resistance level. I'm just going to clone this line and uh, show you why that was a resistance level. You can see we moved, the price moved right up into this consolidation zone uh, where there was equal supply and demand. We had a few bits of resistance and support all around this level at uh, the round number 1.1. It's also a big key round number. Remember the round numbers are important but also uh, look at the 80s and the 20s and that's for a different subject as price magnets. So we've got a big round number We've got stochastic divergence. We've got previous support and resistance and consolidation equal uh, battling between supply and demand uh, all at, uh, to top it all off, we've got this rising channel uh, going on in the euro. Now, it, it seems quite obvious when you look at it in hindsight. But whilst this was going on, I was saying, look to sell towards the top of this channel and at that 1.1 level with the stochastic divergence going on and we're looking for a confirmation through a candle pattern. Now the candle pattern, if you don't mind, I'm going to remove the stochastic indicator because we've seen what it has shown us. So um, it just tends to clutter up the chart. I prefer my charts without all that clutter on them. And if you look at that, you can see this rising channel. The obvious place to, to sell the euro was at 1.1, the round number, overbought stochastic with divergence and we were looking for a signal to short. We we're actually looking for a couple of signals. We we're looking for a signal to short, and then we we're looking for a confirmation. And what we saw here, if I could just zoom in, was this uh, dark cloud cover candle. Now, a dark cloud cover candle uh, and a, a bearish engulfing candle, or conversely, a piercing pattern and a bullish engulfing candle, are my two favorite candle patterns, because uh, they have a very high... Uh, success rate, very high win rate. And what we see here is a spike just through that level, a false break, tiny little spike, not much, uh, a wick top through that red line, through the channel top, and then a sharp rejection from there, forming this candle here, and that's a, a dark cloud cover candle. A dark cloud cover has a higher high and a bearish body um, which engulfs 50% of the previous candle and you can see this candle here this dark one here uh, covers more than 50 percent of the pre preceding very bullish white candle with a higher high forming a dark cloud cover we're still within this channel though 
and that is not confirmed. However, if you were selling at the top, this would have been your first confirmation, as we were, your first confirmation of a reversal. Now, as we go along, the second thing we want to see is a close beneath the channel bottom. You can see even though on a previous occasion, a couple of days before that, we had a move through that channel bottom, but not a close beneath it. And it's very important to note that um, a close beneath the channel is required, not just a pierce of the or piercing of the channel. Upon that close beneath the channel, um, we then had a confirmation that this short was in play. And because we were short at the top, we could continue to either hold or add shorts as we move down, close beneath the channel. We also close beneath the 20 day moving average. That's the third confirmation in a series of a number of things, overbought stochastic, stochastic divergence, a rising channel, which is a bearish channel, not a bullish channel. Then we had the, the, the test of the channel top, a false break through it. Then we had a, a, a dark cloud cover candle, and then we had a confirmation of a close beneath the channel bottom. So a whole host of different signals, um, different indications that this short trade was on, uh, and then followed by a break through the 20 day moving average. And you can see since then, we've just moved lower and lower and lower. We've had a few retests of this previous resistance, which was that support that was broken. That was the second support that was broken after the channel bottom. We broke through this red line and closed beneath it, which was yet another confirmation that this bearish uh, move was, was valid and relevant. And then we had a back test of that line there. And then we had even more candle reversal uh, indicators that we were going to continue with this short move. We had a hesitation candle. We had another wick top or spike high, testing that previous resistance. Bearish candle, followed by a, a, a bullish candle. You could say there was actually a, a, a piercing pattern, but in, in a way, but it was very small. And then another test through that channel top up to the 20 day moving average. That was yesterday and a rejection from there, uh, back down through this line. So two tests of that previous support, which is now resistance, plus the 20 day moving average, giving us a confirmation that this short trade remains on. Now I'm still short the Euro in this example, and uh, we may get another retest of this um, horizontal line and maybe even the 20 day moving average. And then we're looking for a move lower. We're being held up right at the moment by the 50 period moving average, 50 SMA, and this green support line. And it's a support line because it was a previous resistance. So this is a live trade that I'm in right now. We've been shorting this all the way down and uh, I've been adding to short positions on these retests and I'm still short on this trade. This is a really, really good example, a perfect construction of a trade which has taken many days, uh, a couple of weeks in fact, to, to play out after we started getting this channel, rising channel, bearish. We started getting the stochastic divergence and we got the, ridge, the initial move down, a piercing pattern with a false break through the channel top, then a confirmation, then a break below that support and the 20 day moving average, a retest of that support several times, two days out of a week or a week and a half. And uh, this is where we are today, just trying to get through this 50 day moving average and this green support line. And uh, then the, the next part of this whole puzzle is where to set the target. Target's pretty simple. We've got 1.0520 at this green line. Not only is it a, uh, a 20 and an 80 number, so we've got 1.0520, uh, but it's also the lower part of the support area, cutting off the, the wick of that, of that last candle. And I've cut off the wick because I want to draw this line through the most relevant position, touching all of those tops there and then touching all of these bottoms. Whenever you draw these lines, and the same applies to trend lines, draw the lines where it touches the most, even if you've got a cut off a, cut off a wick or two here and there. Don't worry about the wicks too much, uh, but the body is probably the most important point, uh, and you want to connect as many bodies as we have done there. So we've got 1.0520. It's a, an 80 or a 20 number natural price magnet, and that's our target to exit this short trade. And uh, this really is something I wanted to show you because it's a beautifully constructed short trade, which we've taken advantage of all of the way down.
I hope you found that useful. And if you did, and if you like these sort of, sorts of videos, please uh, like this, this video and also click on the uh, subscribe button. And if you really want to get uh, more involved, click on the notification bell because you'll get uh, notified whenever I put up new videos. Take care. Have a great trading day, week, year, and future.